I love making these videos. I really get excited talking about some of the world's most unique, beautiful and interesting eyewear. But this one is special. This one is really special because in today's video we're going to be showcasing one of the world's best independent eyewear brands, one of the most iconic, one of the most influential and one of the most ethical as well. And they have a huge cult following all over the world. And on top of that, one of the brands that's most popular with Hollywood celebrities. I'm talking about LA Eyeworks. And if that wasn't enough of an introduction, I'm sorry, I don't know what I could do better. But hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant here at the Spectacle Factory. And it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And if you're someone who is one of a kind, if you're a colorful personality and you appreciate things in your life that are different from the norm and don't just want to go with what everybody else wears and what everybody else has, LA Eyeworks probably make your perfect pair of glasses. So in this video, I'm going to be showcasing some of the best pieces from the collection. I'm going to be telling you all about the history and the story behind the brand. I'm going to be wearing a few of them. I'm going to be showing off a few of them and I'm going to explain all the things that make them different from your regular eyewear. So sit back and relax and let's get started. So who are LA Eyeworks? If you haven't heard of them before, don't worry, they are an independent brand. They're a company that only makes glasses, as the name would suggest. And those are the brands that I always think give you the best value. And I don't mean the cheapest. Often they're more expensive than your high street designer brands. What I mean is that's where you get the best quality, the most cutting edge designs, the most love that goes into the manufacturing of them. And LA Eyeworks really epitomize all that. They were founded in 1979 by two ladies, Barbara McReynolds, and Guy Garadi, who over the years have become some of the most influential eyewear designers in the world. They're definitely up there with your Patty Pereira, who worked in Oliver Peoples and then founded Barton Pereira, with Carrie Zaloni, who founded Casal, and with John Francois Ray, who obviously owns and designs frames for JF Ray. But for those two ladies, it's not just about designing glasses that sell. In fact, they're probably the least commercially minded eyewear brand in the world. They're big advocates for women's rights and the LGBTQ plus community. And obviously being based in LA, they've got clients and characters over there who are more likely to have broken the mold, shall we say. More eccentric personalities and their glasses really need to reflect that. But they're very, very wearable at the same time if you want glasses that are really fun. Let me show you a few of them. So let's try on a few glasses and see how they look. So I'm going to start with this pair, which is called the Lagos. And every frame that LAI Works designs has a cool name. I don't think there's a single pair that doesn't have a fun name. You'll see that as we go through the collection. But the Lagos is a rectangular frame. Rectangular shapes are not necessarily the most fashionable at the moment, but this one still manages to be fun somehow, even though the shape is overall a little bit more on the boring side. And I think that's A, down to the colouring, but it's also down to the faceting on the frame. And there's a beautiful top edge to this rim that really makes the frames catch the light. And that accentuates the shape. It makes the shape more defined. And the glossy finish really highlights the semi-translucent material. Now, LEI Works frames feel very solid to wear. I wouldn't say they're non-existent. You can tell that they are there. But there's definitely a premium, very solid feel to wearing the frames on the face. So this is the Lagos and a really cool finishing touch are the three points in the corners, which are where the hinges are actually fixed into the frames. So they do have a functional purpose as well as looking cool. Next up, this one is called One Pair. And I guess if you wanted one pair of glasses to make a huge statement, this would be the one. Again, we've got a rectangular shape, but this time the material is much thicker. It's definitely a more chunky acetate that's been used. And the color combination on this frame is just sumptuous. I absolutely adore the combination of the green tortoise shell at the top, the purple tortoise shell at the bottom. It just works fantastically well. And no, it probably isn't gonna match with every outfit. It's not the most versatile color combination, but if you're gonna wear it against white like I am now, or if you're gonna wear it with matching colors in your outfit, this is just a very striking, very stunning frame. Quite heavy because of the thickness of the material, but not uncomfortable in any way whatsoever. And this is the one pair in a slightly different color and a smaller size as well. This is a little bit tight on me. I don't know if it looks like that on the camera, but, but if you do have a slightly smaller head, whether you're a man or a lady, there are frames within the LA Eyeworks collection that are definitely going to fit you. The sizing on them is really versatile, really widespread. I just love this striped brown. You often see brown frames which are tortoise shell, and there might be different variations of tortoise shell, but I haven't seen one before with this stripe finish. That's really unique, really cool, really different. 
And this would look phenomenal as a sunglass, in my opinion. I can imagine this with a dark brown, maybe gradient lens, really looking ideal. And then we've got the more quirky shapes. So, so far, we've really looked at conventional shapes, but in beautiful colors. Well, LA Eyeworks makes some of the most interesting, most unique shaped frames in the world. And these are two perfect examples. These are obviously slightly more feminine frames, so I won't try them on for you. But this one is called the Jupiter. And this one is called Whirly Bird. It's not even just about the shapes. Again, we've got that two-tone tortoiseshell on this one, this time with a blue tortoiseshell on the top, combined with a brown tortoiseshell at the bottom. And on this pair, we've got a striped brown acetate with a purple acetate behind. And it really blends beautifully. Just every angle on this frame reveals a different color and a really interesting finish. These two pairs, by the way, are made from a super thin acetate, very, very thin sheets. So these are actually very lightweight and therefore a little bit more comfortable than the bolder frames that I showcased just before them. Oh, and how could I forget Sunfish? This is again a two-tone acetate, but this time they've put a green acetate behind the brown. I don't know how well you can see that, but again, it gives the frame a different perspective from different angles, particularly from the side. Here you have the brown of the front and the brown of the arms, contrasting against the green crystal acetate in between them. It's little touches like that that show the passion that's gone into the creation of the LAI Works frames. A lot of the profits from the sales of LAI Works go to good causes. For example, one of the ones that they're supporting at the moment is the rehabilitation of offenders back into society. And LAI Works is really not at all a judgmental brand. They're a really inclusive brand. And I feel like that happiness behind the brand really transmit to you when you wear them. You put a pair of LAI Works frames on and it's kind of like all your problems go away. And I know that sounds ridiculous. And I know it kind of sounds unbelievable, but they're just so fun, the glasses. They're so, they are just so fun and fabulous and they make you feel fun and fabulous about yourself. This crystal frame is a perfect example. What they've achieved with this frame is they've made the corners and the angles on the frame very stark. You can actually almost feel that the angles on the front are not sharp, but extremely defined. What that means is that despite this being a crystal frame and having almost no color to it, you still have quite a lot of definition. To me, that works perfectly with the crystal aesthetic. And I just want to smile when I put them on. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's me knowing the history of the brand, but I really don't think so. Part of it is the styles, which are just so fun and cool. But another big part of it, I think as well, is just how good quality they feel when you wear them. All LAI Works frames are made in Japan. I've said on the channel before that Japan is the best eyewear manufacturing region in the world. If you get a pair of glasses made in Japan, you know they're going to be flawless, you know they're going to be hand finished, and you know the quality is going to be second to none. This matte black acetate is a perfect example. This one is called the Remy. Matte colours are actually really difficult to achieve with acetate. It's a lot more difficult than the glossy finish, albeit on the glossy frames, you can tell they've been polished to a ridiculous degree. They feel just so smooth when you hold them and they look so shiny and reflective and glossy when you wear them. But with the matte, it's the opposite effect. This is a really obviously matte black frame. And somehow LAI Works have managed to make a frame that is just black, have a lot of character at the same time. And it's not just down to the shape either. I really can't put my finger on exactly why it is, but they just feel really characterful, really playful, despite being a relatively neutral colour. Maybe it's the matte finish after all. Two more left to show you. And this is definitely the most conventional LAI Works frame I think there is. It's a relatively typical round tortoiseshell shape. Not super adventurous, not that exciting compared to all the other models that we've showcased so far. But certainly a style that is very classic, very retro inspired. Probably a little bit more timeless than the others that we've looked at. This is probably gonna stand the test of time. If you're wanting to buy a frame that you're gonna wear for five, 10 years, this is your best bet. It still feels way, way better. And I'm not exaggerating there. It feels way better than your average tortoiseshell frame. You can just tell that the finishing is immaculate. And the glossy effect on it, honestly, I've seen premium high-end brands. We've showcased Cartier on this channel. We've showcased Barton Pereira on this channel. I love both of them. I could not criticize the quality in any way. The finishing on LAI Works frames is better than both of those brands. I don't say that lightly. I'm really shocked and surprised actually to find them as good as they are. And I've probably saved the best till last or certainly the most expressive frame until last. Have you ever seen a frame in this color before? Because I personally haven't. 
this green, almost marbled striped tortoise shell. It's just so extravagant and characterful, isn't it? So artistic and creative. If you want a pair of statement frames, I really don't think you could get better than this pair. These ones are called the Fotini, by the way. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the LAI Works collection. This is only really a very small section of their range. They make a huge amount of different styles, different colors. Each pair is kind of limited edition because they only make a few of them and therefore they're always bringing out new designs and it's, to be honest, quite hard to keep up with them. But these are some of the newest designs that I've showcased for you today. I hope you've enjoyed looking at them. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the LAI Works brand and maybe it's a brand that resonates with you. Fun fact to leave you with, LAI Works was actually one of the stores featured in the original Blade Runner movie. Being set in LA, one of the scenes actually has the LAI Works store in the background. And that's just another cool thing behind the brand. Blade Runner is definitely one of my favorite all time movies. Anyway, movies aside, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope you've learned something. If you have, give us a like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us grow. And if you've got any questions or anything that I didn't cover in this video that you want me to answer, please leave those in the comment section below. I do love responding to all of your questions, queries and comments. So that's it for today. Thanks guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.